Have you ever wondered what holds your skull together? What keeps those 22 bones perfectly aligned, creating a protective vault for the brain? Today we're diving deep into the world of sutures, the fascinating joints that knit our skulls into a single, solid structure. Get ready for an intriguing journey into the very framework of human anatomy. Before we start, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends who love learning about the human body. Let's get started. First up, we have the coronal suture. Imagine running your fingers from ear to ear across the top of your head. The coronal suture is like a seam that stitches the frontal bone to the two parietal bones, creating a natural helmet for your brain. This suture not only provides a rigid structure, but also allows for some flexibility during the birthing process. But why do we have these seams in the first place? Why not just one solid bone? Well, these sutures are vital during birth. They allow the skull bones to overlap slightly, making it easier for a baby to pass through the birth canal. This flexibility also facilitates brain growth during infancy and childhood. Next, let's talk about the sagittal suture. Picture a line running from the front of your head to the back, right down the middle. This is the sagittal suture, connecting the two parietal bones. This suture is crucial for the symmetrical growth of the skull. Without it, our heads wouldn't expand properly as our brains develop. The sagittal suture also has an interesting role in forensic science. By examining this suture, experts can often determine the age of a skull, as the suture gradually fuses as we grow older. Now let's flip to the back of your head and take a look at the lambdoid suture. Shaped like an upside-down V, this suture connects the occipital bone to the two parietal bones. It forms a sturdy base at the back of the skull, protecting the lower parts of the brain, including the cerebellum, which is responsible for motor control. The lambdoid suture is named after the Greek letter lambda due to its shape. This suture also plays a critical role in skull formation and brain protection. In some rare conditions, like craniosynostosis, premature fusion of this suture can lead to abnormal head shapes and requires medical intervention. Moving to the sides of the skull, we encounter the squamous sutures. These sutures connect the parietal bones with the temporal bones, forming part of the skull's sidewalls. The temporal bones house structures essential for hearing and balance, making these sutures critical for protecting these sensory organs. The squamous sutures are not just simple connections. They have a complex, beveled structure, providing additional strength to the skull. This intricacy helps disperse impact forces, safeguarding delicate internal structures. Let's not forget the metopic suture, also known as the frontal suture. This suture runs down the middle of the forehead, joining the two halves of the frontal bone. It usually fuses in early childhood, but in some individuals, it remains visible into adulthood. This suture is particularly significant during the early years of life, allowing the frontal bones to expand and accommodate the growing brain. The persistence of the metopic suture in adults can sometimes be mistaken for a skull fracture in radiographic images, showcasing the importance of understanding these anatomical details. In addition to the major sutures, there are several minor sutures that play significant roles in skull anatomy. The sphenofrontal suture connects the sphenoid bone to the frontal bone. The sphenoparietal suture links the sphenoid bone to the parietal bone. The sphenosquamosal suture joins the sphenoid bone to the squamous part of the temporal bone. Next, the parietomastoid suture connects the parietal bone to the mastoid part of the temporal bone, while the occipitomastoid suture links the occipital bone to the mastoid part of the temporal bone. These sutures, though smaller, are crucial for the intricate assembly and protection of the skull. Each of these sutures is a masterpiece of biological engineering, providing not only structural integrity, but also the flexibility needed during the early stages of life. They allow the skull to absorb impact, protect vital organs, and facilitate growth. As we grow, these sutures change. In infancy, they are wide and flexible, allowing for rapid brain growth. Over time, they gradually ossify and fuse, forming a solid structure that protects our brain throughout our lives. This process is fascinating and critical for normal development. Understanding sutures isn't just important for anatomy enthusiasts. It's crucial for neurosurgeons, forensic scientists, and even anthropologists. By studying these sutures, experts can determine age, investigate causes of death, and learn about the evolutionary history of humans. For example, forensic scientists use suture analysis to estimate the age of skeletal remains. Neurosurgeons must navigate these sutures carefully during surgeries to avoid damaging vital areas. Anthropologists studied the sutures of ancient skulls to understand how human ancestors lived and evolved. 
One particularly interesting aspect of sutures is their role in diagnosing and treating craniosynostasis, a condition where one or more sutures fuse prematurely. This can lead to abnormal skull shapes and pressure on the brain, requiring surgical intervention to correct. These surgeries are intricate and highlight the importance of understanding suture anatomy. Surgeons carefully separate the fused bones to allow normal growth and prevent complications. Sutures are not just lines on a skull. They are dynamic, living structures that play vital roles throughout our lives. From facilitating birth to protecting our brains, they are a testament to the complexity and brilliance of human anatomy. So next time you think about your skull, remember the incredible sutures that hold it together. They are more than just joints. They are a testament to the intricate design of the human body. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of sutures, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating explorations into human anatomy. Share this video with anyone curious about how our bodies work, and let us know in the comments what you'd like to learn about next. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.